This is the first of its kind in the UK. This is a motorcycle road safety simulator. Uh, this is aimed at a young or inexperienced riders. You'll see in a second, we've thrown in a hazard. So effectively, you've got an open park to your near side. Children play in open parks. And there's a child with it chasing after the ball. In 2022, uh, Devon and Cornwall had uh, a horrendous year for those killed and seriously injured on our roads. We had 16 fatalities and 187 life-changing injuries just for motorcyclists alone within our two counties. Uh, we started uh, a campaign of uh, education, enforcement, engineering. This is very much part of that. Yeah, 1% of the UK road users are motorcyclists, yet they make up nearly a quarter of the people that are killed or seriously injured in collisions. And if we can take this to schools and colleges and you know really show people the dangers of the road when they're learning to ride, and then hopefully it will give them a little bit of experience in the safe environment of the simulator that then they can then take out onto the roads. We'll see where we are on the map in a second. So there we go, so there's a lighting change condition. I came up with the idea coming back from holiday um, uh, and looking at how pilots train on simulators and they can be placed in stressful situations. They have to use their hands, their feet independently and it's no different than a motorcyclist. They have to do exactly the same thing while seeing and reacting to things that happen around them. And I think if we can encourage particularly younger riders to come forward, to sit on it, realise it's not a, uh, an Xbox or a PlayStation, it is an educational tool, but one that's as realistic as it can be, then we're hoping that they can engage. And the fact that they're engaging with uniformed people means that we can try and break down some of those stereotypes.